today, the 37 essential movements, movement number 29, the snake creeps down. The snake creeps down. This position, this figure, this posture, this movement begins in a single whip. So in single whip, which you know very well, we have the three correspondences, hand, foot, elbow, knee, shoulder, hip. These are going to remain during this movement. Please watch closely. We open so the three correspondences line up at the back and also at the front. So in this particular movement, the three correspondences are literally aligned. Okay? Very open. Now the movement, the essential thing to know about this movement, the essential part of this movement, the essential essence of this movement, I would say is a circle, a vertical or oval, vertical oval circular movement like this. So we practice the movement as big as possible, usually, for, to develop flexibility and so on and so forth. And um, this posture is emblematic of Tai Chi. It's a symbol. We see it everywhere. Uh, it's a beautiful movement and speaks uh, many things. Now, the, the movement of the circle is not... Everything we do in Tai Chi is a, circle, a series of circles. So we're working here the 108 movement, the 37 movements, at the heart of the 108 movements. And the 108 movement is the Yang Cheng Fu style that we practice is very big, very big frame. Later we reduce the, the frame until it becomes very small. Okay? But here we're practicing big. Now, the good news about this particular movement, this posture, this figure, this... this uh, this movement is that we don't need to go very low okay it's not easy for everybody to go low and it's not necessary we can practice a small circle so in terms of martial applications we have applications that apply to the big movement like this and also medium-sized ones and also very small ones okay so the movement is useful irrespective of the larger the the, 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 uh, the largeness what's the word i'm looking for the volume of the circle okay and we practice both sides of course and will open up more flexibility for you so what is necessary is to to make the circle a circle the quality that everything is connected and loose and round and then it moves circularly like this when you go down, you're going to, in your imagination, your coccyx is going to go down to the center of the earth. This will give you a stability that you can't get really without it. Kind of like, try it to see what I mean. And when we come back up, well, we're coming up to the uh, golden cock stands on one leg, which will be the next video coming quite soon. Now, uh, flexibility. So if you're not very flexible, and you can't go down low, that's fine, no problem at all. With practice, you will be able to gain a little bit of flexibility. Even if you're an older person, you will be able to gain a bit more. So we practice with that also in mind. Go as low as possible in terms of practice. Now, it is said that Yang Cheng Fu, the uh, founder of this 108 movement um, connection, this 108 movement sequence, with the 37 movements in the middle of it, which we are studying here, that Yang Cheng Fu was a very, he was a very big man. You see photos of him, he's like, whoa, very impressive. Massive guy, big, thick neck and big man, huge. And it is said of him that when he went down, the snake creeps down, he could pick up coins from the ground with his teeth. 
So, it's a metaphor. In reality, that means in application, martial application, we don't go, the hip region and the pelvic region does not go below the level, the level of the knees. Why is that? Well, in a combat, it's possible when we go down, that if I'm very, very low like this, if somebody puts a hand or something on my shoulder or my head or my thigh, I cannot get back up. So we don't go too low. And also, you must protect your, your major joints and the knees and the ankles and everything, okay? Don't forget the knees, we all know what they are. They're um, problematic in almost every system of exercise. In Tai Chi, we, create, we take a great deal of time and energy and effort and understanding to protect the knees as much as possible to avoid uh, what they say in, in classical dance, they say that knees are God's mistake. So, flexibility, there are thousands of exercises that exist to open up the hips and stretch the legs. Every system of exercise has very different methods, many of them. You can choose one of those if you wish or you work with something you already have, or I will show you a couple of things here right now now there is the Dunyao that you can see on this channel. I'll put the link below. This is splendid to open up the hips. And now here is a little sequence of movement of stretches that you can do. If you already have some flexibility, please be careful. Don't try this if you're not already halfway there. You understand what I mean? Okay, because uh, we must avoid hernias and all kinds of stuff, okay? It's very important to be conscious. The whole idea of Tai Chi is con it's conscious exercise. We are aware. We want to feel our bodies and be aware of different parts. And this will expand our consciousness. So, stretches. Stay like this for a little while and then pivot the heel onto the uh, floor. This works the inside. You feel that and we're going to roll, unroll the spine, come back up. Of course, we do it the other side too. But if you want, you can go to another stage with this, which is like this. If you have flexible, if you have confidence in your flexibility, you can try this. The weight goes back to here, from here. Knee on the floor, toes on the floor, till we come to this place here. Now I'm very comfortable here, but if you're not, don't stay there, okay? Please, never force anything. This is a fundamental principle in uh, training in Tai Chi. All training and all practice should be done in quite a relaxed manner, if possible. Okay, so you can try this. This will probably help. But please, be careful, okay? So that's the uh, snake creeps down. One final tip, when you go down, the weight is on the back, front foot is empty and substantial. You're gonna turn it, pivot on the heel, 45 degrees, that way. And now, if you try this, try to come back up straight like this, you will find it strains the leg and the balance is a little shaky. You can try to turn the foot and then focus your intent in the corner. So when you come up, you focus in the corner and when you arrive here, you turn, as a spiral movement, you turn up. This allows more traction with the foot and the whole body feels more connected and it's easier to come up and hold a, uh, a position on one leg will be the next video, 30th, the golden cock stands on one leg, we shall arrive there very soon, so that's it for me for today, please practice if you can, I wish you uh, great flexibility, see you soon, bye bye.